What's up? It's me, Tom, a cannabis lawyer, but here I'm in my kitchen, and tonight we are going to talk about how to make tincture, cannabis tincture for medicine. I'm out right now. I hate when I'm out of tincture. I love putting it in everything from my sodas to my morning coffee, and uh, now we are going to use the very common magical butter extractor. It's a wonderful desktop appliance that you can make extractions from with a solvent. What is our solvent? It's in this bag right here. If you want to find out what the solvent is, give us a like and a subscribe and stick around because we're going to go over the exact recipe that Magic Butter has in its instruction manual to create a tincture. The first thing that we need to do is decarb our cannabis. You don't have to do this. If you want your tinctures to still have the cannabinoids, the anti-inflammatory, the other aspects of, of the, the THCA version, you can do that. The magical butter machine does not get hot enough to be able to decarb it. So the first thing that we're going to do is look up what the instructions say are supposed to be our ratios of flour to solvent. Then we have our flour right here. That's one of the beautiful things about being an Illinois medical marijuana patient is that we are allowed to grow our own in Illinois now and please make sure that you comply with your laws just like I did when making this wonderful medicine and hopefully your laws allow for at least medical home grow. Do not stop until your state allows for medical home grow and always comply with your laws. Now, would you like a little close up of this nugget? I don't like to have too much THC in my tincture and one of the problems with a lot of the medicinal strains is that they're pretty much type 1 cannabis. They're all THC. They don't have any CBD. So I'm going to also mix in a little bit of this very fine sun-kissed Oregonian hemp. And that Oregonian hemp, thank you very much for mailing it to me, Oregon. Check your Magical Butter Owner's Manual. It actually has a recipe for how to make this tincture. Now it takes between four to eight hours and it requires a quarter to one ounce of botanicals and that is 7 to 28 grams. A quarter of an ounce of botanicals I think is going to be fine, but I want to make enough tincture so I have it for the next couple of months. So I'm going to do a half an ounce or 14 grams of botanicals. What type of flowers am I using? They're botanical flowers. The next thing that you do uh, is you turn your oven to 250 degrees if you want to decarb it. I'm going to decarb it a little bit. I still like to have some of the THCA. I, that's one of the reasons I cut it with the CBD hemp flour is that I like a, a calmer, smoother uh, experience, let's call it. So I'm going to turn my oven to 250 and then I'm going to use this wonderful little weight and measurement device that fits in your pocket if you had one to figure out what exactly is the 7 to 14 grams. Remember, turn it to 250. There's science behind this. If you want to read about the science of decarboxylation? Please do. You can find it by Googling how to decarb cannabis. You might actually find our blog, Cannabis Industry Lawyer. Next, uh, you get your little weights and measures device ready to go and you have to figure out how much this little thing is going to weigh. Turns out that little thing actually weighs quite a bit. It weighs about an ounce. And that's why you hit this tear right here and that should zero it out. And now it's zeroed out and now let's add the cannabis. Okay, I think that's too much. Actually it's only 10 grams. It's not exactly too much but it's just too pretty. Let's just go with the uh, more fluffy nuggets. Okay, that's 10 grams. Remember, we're going for 14. I think that's enough uh, actual THC flour. Let's throw in some of that fine Oregonian hemp. So here's some uh, of that hemp star. How are we doing? Perfect. 14 grams, about 10 grams of medical cannabis homegrown, and about 4 grams of delightful Oregonian sun-kissed hemp. Of course, if you have never had a magical butter machine, here is one. 
It has different types of settings for the temperature and then also for the time. Now we're making the magical butter tincture and so because of that it actually has a setting so we're going to use the four hours tincture or eight hours butter and we're going to be doing it at the 130 or the 55 degrees Celsius setting and you know 130 degrees just sounds so much hotter than 55 degrees uh, and so that's pretty easy I mean you just make sure that you hit these couple of buttons right here so we do the four hours and it even has like the tincture on there so it doesn't just say four hours it also says tincture and then you would dial it up to the appropriate uh, temperature which will be that 131 right there let's get our cannabis into this pyrex right here you see you really don't want to try to decarb your cannabis in some plastic like this that plastic might melt you throw it in your pyrex the instructions actually say not to grind up your botanicals it says for best results right there do not pre-grind your botanicals adjust botanical weight according to personal preference that's why I'm doing this it's my preference let's go roast these really quick I'm probably gonna hear like a bing and that's gonna mean that 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 uh, oven is the right temperature and then we can put our flour in there's that bing let's put the flour in and set the timer for 30 minutes some people might say maybe I should put some foil over this to try to trap in the turps some of the terps do actually start to vaporize uh, at lower temperatures, but they may already be gone by now, simply because 250 degrees really isn't all that hot. But, you know, uh, the most important thing is to just throw it in there like it's dinner. And then, and then the thing you say is, hey Google, set a alarm for 30 minutes. I guess Done. it's a timer. Your alarm set for 10.02 p.m. By the way, if you'd ever like my help preparing for a good night's sleep, just say, bedtime. Okay, well, bedtime, I guess, is in about 30 minutes. Until that time, uh, there's really nothing else to tell. Hey Google, uh, turn off the alarm. Oh, that smells amazing. You have to be very careful not to touch it, but um, yeah, it's pretty decarved. It's pretty decarved. All right, uh, time to throw this into the extractor. Now let's read how much solvent we need, and we can also find out what's the solvent we're using. I'm also gonna have to mute fish. They are uh, litigious, I don't want this taken down. Okay, so here's a pro tip for the magical butter machine. How do you get the top of the magical butter machine off? You pull it out. So the magical butter machine basically just heats the solvent and then has what is kind of like a blender like substance and you'll hear it and it'll just be blending and it'll create a slurry of stuff that at the end of the cycle you run through a fine mesh bag and that will give us the thing that will become the tincture because it would still have a lot of solvent in it and you have to get rid of the solvent and what's the solvent the solvent is in that bag right there we're going to talk about it in just a second but first we have a half an ounce of cannabis that we're going to be using for the tincture how much solvent do we need for 14 grams of cannabis the minimum amount of solvent that you need is two cups of ethanol our solvent is going to be of course ethanol and by ethanol what's that it's, it's commonly known as Everclear uh, again one of the things we always talk about on the channel and I'm a medical patient comply with your laws I'm complying with mine that medical cannabis that I have is legal however it's over an ounce which would put me over the possession limits yet I can go and buy all the fucking Everclear in the state that's stupid let's measure two cups of pure grain liquor for America so now we're gonna pour pure grain liquor into here we're getting there this is what I like to do on weekends. Okay, stop. That is two cups of pure grain liquor. There might be three cups and a fifth. And then our nuggets go into the cups. To be honest, it looks like two cups is way more than enough Everclear for a half an ounce or 14 grams of cannabis. I probably could have used at least another seven grams. 
I could have gone to three quarters an ounce, maybe even an ounce. Next time I make tincture, I might do an ounce of cannabis. Might just use the whole bottle in three cups. Why not? Finally, you just put the cap back on, plug her in. You heard it beep. It's the middle button for the tincture for four hours. Good morning. The machine's done. And so now the Magic Butter Machine has completely cycled through. Now let's look inside what they have, because as you know, it can get messy here, so be careful. And a strong alcohol smell. It has this blender type thing, and all those nuggets, because we didn't grind it at all, all those nuggets have now been completely obliterated. So let's get a look in here. And it's time to strain it directly through this strainer that's included in it. It says it's a purity 190. I think the 90 thing has to do with the microns and the, the screen that's down there. According to the instructions and the recipe, after you screen that, it's technically done as the tincture. Let's strain it, let's put it into there, and let's look at just how much they obliterate all those nugs, because there were some pretty big nugs in there. Shout out to Uncle Ice. And as you can see, it's basically just a green slurry. Be very careful. You pour it through. Now look at how green that slurry is. And there's still a lot of it inside. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll use my garbage disposal. But you can still see how it's kind of all, all extremely broken up. And that is ready for cleanup. This, we're going to be extremely careful with. I mean, that's the tincture right there. But remember, this is Everclear. This won't just get you medicated, it'll get you bombed, man. 